intercepted Russian communications discussed a proposal by President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, to Russia's ambassador to the U.S. to create a secret communications channel between the Trump transition and the Kremlin, the Washington Post reported, citing U.S. officials briefed on intelligence reports. The Post reported Kushner made the proposal to Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak during an early December meeting at Trump Tower to use Russian diplomatic facilities to shield their pre-inauguration discussions, according to U.S. officials. CNN previously reported the two men met as part of an effort to create a back channel to Russian President Vladimir Putin. The White House did not comment on the report. These revelations come as the FBI probe of Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election includes looking at Kushner. The FBI is drilling down on Kushner's multiple roles in the Trump campaign and post-election transition. Key among them, the Trump campaign's data analytics operation, run by Kushner and used to target voters in key states that helped Trump win the presidency. I've heard, and it's been reported, that part of the misinformation, disinformation campaign that was launched was launched in three key states, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And it was launched, interestingly enough, not to reinforce Trump voters to go out, but actually targeted at potential Clinton voters with, it, with misinformation in the last week. Federal investigators are examining whether Russian operatives used Trump campaign associates wittingly or unwittingly to aid their own efforts to push information about Hillary Clinton online. Jared is going to do a great job. As Trump's top foreign policy aide, Kushner's contacts with Russia are under scrutiny. Kushner was one of at least four Trump campaign aides in contact with Sergei Kislyak and in December met with the head of a Russian bank under sanctions by the U.S. with close ties to Vladimir Putin. At first, he failed to list those contacts when he applied for a security clearance, but later corrected the forms. It seems like another day, another name. It's hard to find who in this administration is not uh, being connected uh, with suspicious ties to Russia. Uh, and it just points out how important this investigation is.